I want to show you what just came in from Mauser. Okay, we got two variants of a contact that is prepared to handle 50 amps each. So it's this one and that one. And yesterday I was doing loads of research to find just the right contact. This is pretty uh, deep into the true engineering. Here we have a data sheet for one of them. I put this PDF together with three different series. Okay, and this one's Minifit Senior by Molex. Molex is an entire company that just specializes in electrical connections, which is deep down a very mechanical task as well. All right, so they carry 50 amps each, and then something special about them is the material is high-performance alloy. This connection has to handle a ton of requirements when we slide this arm onto those tabs inside and the arm. I'll just show you some of the reasons the materials are very specific. Okay, so pure copper is great for conductivity, but it deforms easily. And so once it's spread several times, it won't clasp back down and maintain its spring force. Um, then if you, cop if you were to do spring steel and plate it with gold, the trouble is we have a wear condition with a hundred different plugs and unplugs is going to pull that plating off. Inside of your power tool batteries, you'll notice that they have a, a surface, a texture there that is, has ridges, almost like a file. That means the tab component is almost going to scratch its way into the center of this. So if there's any debris and dust or, or moisture in between those two, they still bite in just a little bit and the ridges on the male part um, are going to absorb or kind of take in the debris instead of just hosting it on the surface and preventing electrical contact. Okay, if you alloy the copper into brass, you can overcome the deformation and you have a consistent material throughout, no plating to wear on, but then you have the oxidation issue because these are exposed all the time and brass can't withstand it. So once I have all these selected and integrated into the different components, we can connect the battery, the wall power, any tools and any DC stuff together with very high currents. That's great. Now I've retraced the steps and the challenges that many of these engineers go through to produce just one connector on one battery. Then I can appreciate all of these little contacts and their materials and plating so much more.